All right, from the last video, all I did is I went in and added some CSS so we wouldn't waste any time going over that. Uh, if you need to know how to do that, you can go back to one of the CSS videos. But what I did is I just came up in uh, my head tag and I put my style tag, I put a body, background color, yellow, ended my style tag. Okay, so that's all the CSS that I just put in between my head tag up at the top. And so my body tag now just says this is page one, which is right there. Okay, I just changed the colors. I changed one to yellow and one to green, so we'd know which page we were working on. Okay, because sometimes it gets pretty confusing. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to put a link to page two, because I'm on page one right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up W3 Schools, and I'm going to go down to Links in HTML, and I'm going to see that. I put in my A tag, which is an anchor tag, and the code is ahref equals the URL. Okay. Remember, the URL is normally up on top of, in your web browser, it's the www dot whatever. For our purposes, for external links, remember from the video a couple times before, we have to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in order to put an external link to link to a website that's not one of our websites that's somebody else's. Really easy though to link to a page inside of our own website. Okay? First of all, again, I have if I minimize that and I minimize that right here in my folder and in my multiple pages folder, both of my pages are inside of the same folder. That is very, very important. Create a new folder like we talked about. Put both pages inside that new folder. All right. So what I'm going to do is open up page one there and page one here. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my a href equals, and now I don't have to put the whole URL, the HTTP, because it's inside my folder. So all I have to do is put the name that I called my page. And I call my page 2, page2.html. So it's going to be page, oops, don't know how it got up there. Inside there, it's page2.html. That's it. I close my bracket. And I put go to page two, and then oops, I'm going to end my a tag. Okay, that that's it. That's all I need to put because that's what I named my page, and it's inside the folder. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to refresh that, and there's my go to page two. So let's see if that works. If I click on it. There's my page two, which is really cool. Okay, gotta go back here to page one, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing to page two, but I'm going to link that back to page one. A little confusing, but hopefully it makes a little sense. So I'm going to go here to my page two. I'm going to go down to my Notepad and open up page two. That's why it's so important to be clear what you've named things and and what you have on pages. That's why I put different colors in. So I knew that it was a completely different page. Okay. So here's my page two. I did the same thing right down here under my body tag. I'm just going to put, enter that to move it up a little bit. I'm going to put, again, a href equals, this time I'm going to put page one dot HTML because now we're linking it back to our first page. Close my bracket, go to page one, end my A tag, and that should be it. So I do a file, save, refresh, and so now it's kind of hard to see. I chose a different color, but I didn't. What I would have done is gone into the, the hexadecimal code to choose a lighter color probably should have done that, but for our purposes, there's page one, so hopefully that links to page one, okay, that's my page one, and that 
links to page two. So I can sit here and do this all day long, and it'll just keep going back and forth, which is really cool. Now you can link multiple pages together, and we'll get into where we put them and, and making it look nice a little later. But make sure you can link to multiple pages, and then you can put some different things in your pages. Good luck.